do you want? I want two packets of oats and two eggs. Boiled eggs. No more eggs. Any eggs. Okay. <laughs> How was the breakfast? <laughs> Call these oats. Is it oats? Yeah. It looks so unappetizing. Really yummy. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to do better next time. Hey everyone, welcome back to another daily vlog. We're just about to go to the gym, so I'll probably video that on my phone and get all the exercises I do. Hopefully, it's not too busy. It is a public holiday today. But yeah, it's just another chill day vlog. I don't have much planned. I'll probably go through the stuff I got for Christmas. But yeah, let's go. Nope. Sorry guys, I forgot to vlog in the gym because there was a lot of people and it was a bit hard. But Fabian hit his personal best in the bench press. Oh, Woo! Hell yeah. um, I'll tell you what I did. Four sets of hip thrusts. Then I did straight leg deadlifts, three sets of those. Then I did three sets of Bulgarian split squats, which no are way. which are deadly. <laughs> then I did three sets of banded hip banded seated hip abductions. That sounds very complicated. And then I did crunches on the medicine ball. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Hey guys, so I just washed my hair and I'm gonna go through my styling routine, but my neighbor's being really noisy with their lawnmower or I don't know, they're doing gardening. So, so I'm just gonna put subtitles because yeah, I can't talk. So noisy. Hey guys, so it's actually a few days later. I never actually finished that vlog, which is silly of me. Um, we haven't been doing much lately in the past few days. It's been Christmas and New Year, so we've just been eating a lot and spending a lot of time with family, and I just wanted to kind of relax, but I do feel a bit sluggish from not doing anything productive. So I thought I better finish that vlog today. I didn't actually get footage of the curl results from that wash day. It wasn't the best because it has been raining. There's been no sun for the past five days, and it's just been horrible weather. So I have been slicking my hair back a lot. I probably have a clip that I can put of the curl results. But yeah, it's supposed to be summer here in Australia and it hasn't been, there hasn't been a day that's been over 20 degrees and normally it's 30 degrees here in Australia. So we haven't been able to use the pool and yeah, it's just weird that I'm wearing like winter clothes <laughs> during summer. But anyway, I can't complain because it's been a good, just relaxing past few days. I want to go through the stuff I got for Boxing Day and like Christmas stuff that I got. So I'll do a little haul later, but we're actually going to be going to look at a little townhouse that's for sale at 11. So we're going to leave soon. It's just for fun. But our goal is to move out and our dream is to live in a townhouse as our first property. So we're just checking this one out because it's in the area that we like to. But yeah, we're not ready yet, but I'm like, we can manifest it and go look at it and be like, yes. By the end of the year or by next year we'll be moved out <laughs> when i say we i mean fabian and i um but yeah if you want to know how i do this slicked hairstyle i've been doing it a lot i did do a curly hairstyles video which is the last video i put up on my channel so you can check that out i'll leave a link down below i've also been loving really light natural makeup because my skin has been good the past week or two weeks because I did struggle with a bit of acne for a few weeks, like stubborn acne that didn't go away. So I'm very happy with my skin at the moment. I don't even have highlighter on and I look very 
glowy. Also, I didn't say Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you guys. Thank you so much for your support on this channel. I am so grateful and surprised how quickly it's growing and I can't wait for this year. I think there'll be exciting stuff happening. As much as we can complain about 2020, I've just been trying to stay positive the past few days and I was actually talking to my friend the other day and she said something that put me into perspective and like made me realize okay I need to stop complaining like everyone needs to stop complaining if you're healthy and if you're not in hospital like just be grateful at this time of year because there's people that are alone in hospital on these holidays during these times and are struggling mentally so that's what I'm grateful for is that everyone around me is healthy and yeah we just got to stay strong and be positive at coming into this new year. I'm kind of stuck on what videos I want to make I'm not sure what you guys want to see I know I ask like every video but please leave me suggestions down below of what you want to see next if you let me know if you prefer vlogs like this or more sit down kind of themed videos let your girl know okay let's go <laughs> Put your mask on. <laughs> two hours later. Okay, so we're back from looking at the properties. We looked at two on the same street and they were, they're not like super nice because they're old buildings, but you could definitely just renovate them and make them really nice. But yeah, it was just fun. It's always fun to look at properties and just pretend and dream that you're going to move out. But we still have a little a bit to go so but it's just nice to you know plan for our future and envision our future and manifest it anyway we just had lunch i had delicious chicken wings and i just have a pile here of new stuff that i've gotten recently from christmas and from boxing day sales so i thought i'd do a little haul let's start with the jewelry that fabian got me he got me this beautiful little f it's like a dainty necklace and it's got little diamantes on it too love that and then he also got this necklace um, it's just got these shimmery little balls <laughs> on them. Um, what do you call them? Discs, not balls. So I love those two together. And then those ones I helped him, like, I, like, told him that I like these from this website called The Silver Collective. I did a photo shoot with them, and then while I was shooting with them, I fell in love with all their pieces. They have really nice jewellery, so I got a lot from them over Christmas, and then I also just bought a lot myself. Fami got me this emerald stone bracelet from Shirowski. Shirovsky? 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 So yeah, that's really pretty. I love the green. This is an anklet my mum got me. If you can see, it's got like pearls on it. It's really pretty. I bought these three rings from the Silver Collective as well. And I love wearing them together or you can like spread them out over your hand. And also this rose gold one and it's kind of, it's like a bent, irregular shaped ring. Super pretty. This ring's from Pandora I've had since I was 16. I got that from my mum. But let's move on to the clothing items I've gotten. The Iconic has some good sales, so I was checking out, I was shopping on their app, and I love the brand that they sell called Daisy. And I saw this knit red crop top. I didn't really have crop top this colour. But I like the design of it. It's like long at the front. It's all cropped, but it's longer at the front and then it goes really short at the back. I love this colour red and I feel like it's really nice with denim or just plain bottoms. So I love that. That was 30% off. They also had other nice colours in that as well. And then I love this knit maxi dress. This blue is amazing and it's a really nice flattering fit. Again, it's like a high neck cut. It doesn't have any splits or anything. It's very simple and plain, but I just love this colour and I've wanted something this colour for a while. So yeah, that's what I got from the Iconic. I got some stuff from Glassens. I've been loving brown lately, as you can probably tell. I'm wearing brown right now. But I got these really comfy kind of, they're not linen, they're more like a soft, they're not really linen, I don't know, it's like a soft linen wide leg pant. They're just like nice and simple, high waisted, stretchy waist. And I got this brown little t-shirt to go with it. So it's like a nice brown summery set, um, but I haven't been wearing much summer clothes lately. This is still like kind of warm because it's long pants and a thick top so I love those two. I think I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this crop top from Glassens. It's a high neck ribbed black top. It's got that keyhole design that's very popular right now and then you tie it around the back. I feel like this goes with anything with jeans, with long skirts, short skirts and it just makes your outfit a bit more edgy instead of just a plain tank top. It's got that keyhole detail and then the tie detail. Love that! I got this silky long maxi skirt from Princess Polly. It's nice and stretchy around the waist and it's got this pattern. It's Asian inspired and it's really cute and I think with that black tank top and like blank black chunky sandals that will be a nice 
outfit. I just love the colour. Moving on. I got some stuff from Cotton On. Um, this is a tank top with shoulder pads. I got this in black too. So I feel like this design is very in right now and like tucked into some jeans. It's a cool casual outfit. I just like the shoulder pads and the like muscle tee style. I don't have anything like this. And I liked this light grey colour too. I don't really wear much of that. This dress is from Hello Molly. It's really pretty. It's got a lot of embroidery and lace on it. And I like the button up high neck style. It's also got a tie at the back so you can cinch it in at the waist a bit more. I just thought it was a nice one to chuck on in summer even though the weather is not appropriate. I just thought it was a really nice colour. Again, I love wearing red. I got another mini dress. This is a blue kind of frilly dress. It's the perfect length, perfect fit. I like how it's stretchy around the waist. It's also got a zipper on the side. And you can wear the sleeves on your shoulders or off the shoulders. Yeah, everything about this. I love the colour. They also had like a longer version and I was deciding between getting like the midi length or the mini length, but I think the mini length suits me more. It's a really, really nice fit. That's the pattern up close. This is so pretty. Can't wait to wear it. So this shop that I've never shopped at before, um, it had a Boxing Day sale and this is a Bohemian Traders. They have really, really nice summer dresses and actually Fabian's mum got me onto them because all her dresses are really pretty and I was like, where do you get them from? So she showed me this shop. If you do shop with them, I definitely recommend to get a size down because I got um, everything I've shown you is extra small, which is my usual size with everything, but I got XX small in this dress. What's good about their dresses is that the waist is super adjustable and you can cinch it in a lot or you can wear it looser. But basically it's a yellow mini dress and I love like the frill around the neckline and the puffy sleeves. It's also the perfect length and just really light and pretty. I just don't really wear a lot of yellow, so I thought that was really pretty. I bought way too many dresses. I don't know what came over me because y'all know I have a lot of clothes. If my mum's watching, I'm sorry mum, stop watching. <laughs> this dress is really pretty on. It's like a, what would you call this? It's like puffy, a puffy sleeved, puss, it's like a puffy sleeved, a puffy shirt dress, but it's really pretty on. I feel like you can dress it up and down. And again, it's a mini length. So I got a lot of mini dresses because I do have a lot of long dresses. So I guess I needed mini dresses, even though I don't need any more clothes. It's a problem that can't be fixed. This is from Sports Girl. They had a sale as well, and I honestly don't know if I like this dress. Like, I don't know why I bought it. I just, I like the color, but I don't know if it's very trendy or if it's a bit old fashioned. It's one of those smock dresses, so it literally like, so it has like a seam above your boobs and it like goes out from there. So it's a very like puffy style. I don't know, it's a nice length and I really like the puffy sleeves, but is this ugly? Let me know what you think because <laughs> I think it would be nice with some sandals. I think it would be mainly nice like for family events because it's quite like conservative. It doesn't show off anything. But I like the bright colour. I don't know. Maybe I'll return it. Also from Cotton On, I forgot to show this with the other Cotton On top, but I just got a plain white shirt because I don't have like a actual shirt. I have beachy, summery, like linen kind of see-through white shirts, but this is more of a businessy kind of thing. I've been watching Friends on Netflix and they're 90s style has inspired me so much. I know maybe lots of people say that, but like white shirts with a black belt in, tucked into jeans, like very simple kind of old school style. Um, this is an extra small and I'm surprised how big it is. I haven't tried it on yet, but I reckon it will look nice tucked into jeans, like hair slicked back, cute belt. I honestly don't know what my style is. I like everything. I'm very into like you know on TikTok when you see girls wearing really cool like patchy jeans or like those big baggy sweater vests over t-shirts like the very would you call that e-girl I don't know I'm into every style guys help me anyway I hope you liked that little haul I want to work on my TikTok content I've nearly hit a hundred thousand followers so I want to make some TikToks today if you're not following me I'll leave my username on the screen anyway I think I'll leave the vlog here thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe and like this video if you haven't already your support means the world to me and let me know what videos you want to see next make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok too I'll see you in my next video my olives bye